In this tutorial, I will show you how to remap ROS to nodes, topics and services, first using the command line tool, so ROS to run, and then in a second part inside a launch file. And let's start with the command line and we are going to actually run this node, so ROS to run turtle sim, turtle sim node. Okay, so this is a classic example. If I run this, I have a turtle here, and then I can see I have ROS2 node. So if I do ROS2 node list and ROS2 topic list, okay, and let's do also ROS2 service list. So the node is named turtle sim. You can see the list of topics and the list of services. Okay, so let's see how to first rename the node. So if you want the node not to be called turtle sim, but something else, then what you can do is, well, you will first add dash dash so after ROS to run and package an executable you add dash dash ROS dash args okay you will need to add this if you want to add arguments to the command line and then I'm gonna add dash R okay R for renaming basically or remapping and if I want to change the node name I will need to put two underscore and then node colon equal and then the name of the node so let's put just ABC, for example. Okay, and with this, I will say that, so I'm adding ROS arguments, and I have a dash R with underscore underscore node for the uh, for rem renaming the node, okay? If I do ROS to node list, you can see now my node is named ABC, all right? And if you want to also add a namespace, so you could uh, just change a uh, namespace or add a namespace without modifying the node name here i'm doing both so i'm adding another dash r okay and then underscore underscore ns and let's just put slash test okay and now you can see i have my test abc node okay so it's gonna be slash test slash abc if i do a ros to topic list you can see that i also have a test namespace for the node so I'm just going to remove the namespace from now, but it was just to show you how to add this. And one thing you can see is, well, you only need to add ROS args one, and then for each argument, you just add another dash R, and then the, the rule that you want to apply. Okay, so now let's say I want to remap a topic. So I will also change the name of the node, but let's say I want to remap a topic let's say this slash turtle one cmdvel, I want to just publish on cmdvel, for example. So I can do dash r, and then for topic services and other names, you just put the name, so turtle one slash cmdvel, you just put the name that you want to replace, and it's gonna find it automatically, okay? So turtle one cmdvel, and then colon equal, let's put slash cmdvel, Okay, and when I run it, then when I run it, and if I do a ROS2 topic list, you can see now I have, so before I had total one cmdvel, now I just have cmdvel. That's the topic that I have renamed. And let's do the same thing for services. So let's say I want to change the clear service. I can just do, so let's add it after this. So dash R and then slash clear colon equal let's just put other name okay and then if i do ros to service list you can see i have other name which is the clear service here so you can see it's not that difficult here let's do clear that's the entire command right here you first do the ROS to run with the package and the executable, then you add ROS args like this, and then for each renaming or remapping, you add a new dash R, okay? You can change the name of the node like that, or you can change a topic or a service name or an action, for example, with this. So first the name, colon equal the new name. So this is for a topic, this is for a service, you can see that's the same thing. Okay, and now let's go to launch files. So I have created three launch files, a Python one, an XML one, and a YAML one. That's gonna start also the turtle sim node. I have just some parameters here, okay? Some, I've just set some parameters as well, but that's the same thing. 
And now let's say you want to change the name of the node and a topic name. Then to change the name of the node, I'm going to start with Python here. You have package executable. You're going to add name like that. And then just say, for example, ABC. And don't forget the comma if you have stuff after this. And so by doing this, I'm just changing the name of the node. Now, if I need to do some remappings, then I can add remappings like that, remappings. And I will need to add an array of remappings. And for each remapping, I'm adding here a tuple with first the name. So that was, for example, slash turtle one slash cmdvel. I wanted to rename it to slash cmdvel. Okay. So I add a tuple and the first element is what I want to rename and the second is all well, the new name. Okay. So I can add other remappings here. You can see I can add uh, that was, for example, clear and then uh, something else. Also going to add a comma here. All right. Make sure that if you have stuff after you add a comma. Okay. So how to change the name and how to do some remappings for topics, services, etc. Then let's go to XML. And in XML, well, you have a node like this that you start with package and exec. And if you want to change the name, you just need to add name here, name equal to ABC, all right? Just after PKG and exec, as simple as that. And if you want to add some remapping, then you will need to open and close the node tag. So it's already done here because anyway, I'm adding some parameters and then you can add. So usually I put it before, but well, the other doesn't really matter as well as for uh, Python. You just add a remap tag and you will need to put from and you will need to put to, okay, and close the remap tag. So from is gonna be from here, turtle one um, cmd vel to slash cmd vel. And if I want to add another remap rule, I just add another remap tag from is gonna be slash clear to slash something else. And I close the remap. Okay, so you just add a name here after pkg and exec in the node tag directly. And if you want to remap, then you just add a remap rule like that with a remap tag inside the node. And for YAML, then, well, you will, so it's very similar here. You will add a name. So after pkg and exec, here you have a name. So there is no comma here, okay? Just a new line and a name, let's say ABC. And here I have some parameters, but I can also do here remap. And then for each remapping, so you have a dash and then you add a new indentation or maybe two here. It depends. It's going to work the same from, let's say, turtle one cmd vel. So you have a from and you have a two um, slash cmd vel. And if you want to add more remapping rules, you just duplicate this syntax. So just put a new dash, go back to a new line, indentation from, I was a slash clear, and then two, that's gonna be slash well, something else. All right, and with this, you have seen basically everything you need so that you can rename nodes and remap topics, services, etc. from the command line, but also from a launch file. Thank you for watching, now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also check out my online courses if you like what I teach, links in the description. And see you in the next one.